If you are experiencing low water pressure in the fields, check to see if the pump is performing well and there are no leaks. If everything is okay, this could indicate a clogged filter. Toggle the three-way valve to inlet pressure and make a note of it. Now toggle the three-way valve to outlet pressure and make a note of it. If the difference between the two exceeds 5 meters, then you have a clogged filter. To fix the problem, proceed with the following steps. Close the filter's downstream valve. Perform three manual backflush cycles using the SG app. You can also do this by pressing the manual button on the flush controller for five seconds in order to make sure the system is working well. Verify the inlet pressure does not drop below two bar during the backflush cycle. Listen to the solenoid click and do water running through the filter. Check water comes out of the backflush manifold. High pressure flushing ensures the filter is cleaned well and clears any clogging. If this doesn't resolve the problem, there is either a problem in the solenoid or with the controller. To replace the solenoid, first disconnect the batteries from the controller. Then disconnect the electric cables that go from the solenoid to the controller. Then disconnect the 8mm tubes from the solenoid. Disassemble the solenoid from its bracket and assemble the new one. Connect the 8mm tubes to the new solenoid. Connect the electric cables from the solenoid to the controller. And finally, connect the batteries in the controller. Now perform three manual backflushes. Once again, listen for the click of the solenoid water running in the filter, and look for water coming out of the backflush manifold. If the problem continues, there may be a fault with the controller and you will need to contact your Netafim representative. With the solenoid fixed, you are now ready to clean the filter. Proceed to open the downstream valve. Check if the clogging has been cleared by checking the DP again. Toggle the three-way valve to inlet pressure and make a note of it. Now toggle the three-way valve to outlet pressure and make a note of it. If the DP is within the operational range, we know the clogging has been cleared and the filter is ready for operation. If the DP exceeds 5 meters, the filter is still clogged. 
In this case, proceed to manual cleaning of the fine screen. Depressurize the system by closing the filters upstream and downstream valves. Perform a manual backflush cycle in order to depressurize the system. Verify the pressure gauge is at zero. Now open the filter cover. Remove the coarse screen and extract the fine screen assembly. using pressurized water. Reassemble the filter. First replace the fine screen, then replace the coarse screen and close the filter cover. Proceed to pressurize the system. First, open the downstream valve, then open the upstream valve. Once again, check the DP data. Toggle the three-way valve to inlet pressure and make a note of it. Now toggle the three-way valve to outlet pressure and make a note of it. The difference should not exceed the 5 meters. If the DP is within the operational range, we know the clogging has been cleared and the filter is now operational. If the DP exceeds 5 meters, this indicates then the filter is still clogged and you should contact your Netafim representative for further steps.